Hi there, students. To gain, to get, to acquire, to obtain possession of something. So, for example, I gained more information by asking questions. Asking questions is always a good way of gaining information. We can use gain meaning to achieve, to get through effort or because of merit. So he gained recognition due to his hard work. Um, he gained more uh, subscribers by making good videos. To get something through competition or struggle. So he gained a point in the match by making a very skillful move. His team gained another victory. We can also use gain talking about increases, either to get an increase or to increase. So, as I study, I gain more and more wisdom. The car gained speed as it went down the hill. Um, if you watch videos on a regular basis, slowly but steadily you will gain vocabulary. You will increase your vocabulary. Now, a good question is gain, win, or earn. So, if you win something, this is by chance, by luck, by competition. Yeah? So, you win a prize. You can win a victory. You can also gain a victory. I guess you could gain a prize. Gain doesn't talk about the way that we um, obtained the object. Win says we got it by skill or by luck or by competition. And then we have the verb to earn is to work and receive money or to receive some, some other thing through hard work. So also, work is another method of gaining money. Okay, but earn says that you work or you struggle for it. Gain just says that you obtain it. So gain is much more generic than win or earn, which are both more specific and talk about the way that you do it. So let's see, a couple more meanings for gain before I go on. Um, if you have a watch that runs too fast, it's always going forward of the time. It measures a minute as 59 seconds then you say it is gaining, it's gaining time. So it's uh, going faster than you would expect. And also you can use the word gain in electronics. It talks about the amplification, the increase in a voltage or the increase in the power of a signal. Okay, let's see. As well, to gain is a regular verb. Gain, gained, gained. And the next question is formality. I think this is a neutral verb. Uh, well, it can also be a noun, mind you. Again, <laughs> it's um, a neutral verb and noun. And you can use it both in an informal conversation and in a formal document. So it's nice and flexible. Okay, so 
to gain, to get, to acquire, to obtain possession of, to achieve through effort or because of merit, um, to get through struggle or difficulty, and then to obtain an increase or to increase. So, you are gaining knowledge as this video goes by. Okay, what about the origin? Well, apparently it comes from Middle English and there are Norse words related to it as well. In Middle English, it means booty. So if you win a war, then, or you take a city, then the things that you can steal or take with you are your booty, like your prize. It also has the idea of advantage. And it's related as well to the Norse word gekum, gegum, meaning ready. Okay? So to gain, to get, to acquire, to obtain. Let's look at a couple of common collocations. To gain ground, to become more popular, to catch up. So to gain ground, imagine there is a battle. And the one army is taking ground, land, that is occupied by the enemy. They are gaining ground. The runner in second place was behind, but he was rapidly gaining ground on his opponent. He was catching him up, if you like. Um... We also use to gain ground, meaning to become more popular. So people didn't believe in this method in the past, but it is gaining ground. It's becoming more popular. More people are using it. Okay, To gain ground. To spread, if you like. And then to gain time means to save time. So if we take this shortcut, we can gain some time. We can arrive earlier. Um, if we both work at this together, in tandem together, then we will gain time. We will save some time. So let's recap. To gain, again, a noun and a verb. Um, gainful as well, useful. So, to gain, to acquire, to obtain. To obtain through effort, or through merit, or through competition. To gain, to increase, to go faster, to become more. And remember, it's neutral in formality, so you can use it anywhere, and it's a regular verb, gain, gained, gained. So there you go, to gain, again, a gain as opposed to a gain. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Gain.